McNair gives it to George, running right up the middle. Touchdown! It's a miracle! You're safety, now you're one on one with it. Shows why he's the man! In trouble. Sacks! <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Titan Nation, welcome to the Mr. Titan Show. Today, we have a brand new series called Titans Around the World. Again, we all obviously know there's a bunch of Titans in the U.S., but again, spread out across the world. It runs deep. We're one family, one team. And today, I can introduce my friends all the way from Germany. We have the German Titans. Go ahead, man. Introduce yourself, Tim, Chris. Welcome on the show, man. Hey there. <laughs> hey there. I'll let Tim start out, though. He's the president nah, of the I, club. Oh, I, I, there it I, is. The I, president. I, I, the president. I, I just said ladies first when it was muted and said go All ahead. All right. So, uh-huh. As soon as I'm the president, I'm making a call. So go ahead, Chris. All right. Yeah, anyways. Hi there. My name is Chris, and uh, I'm part of the German Titans fan club. And I've been a Titans fan now for... Well, over 20 years. So I started watching the Titans in the season of 99. Nice. Uh, I think when I was like 13 years old, stuck with them ever since. It was kind of hard to see them in Germany back then, but uh, I had a, I had a friend of my aunt's uh, tape it on VHS because you couldn't see a full game in Germany. And I, my, my parents didn't have the full, I don't know what you would call it, something like direct TV. They didn't want to get it for me. So mm -hmm. I couldn't really want to watch it. Couldn't really watch it. So I had, had them tape a VHS tape for me from uh, from my first game. First game I watched in full was a Jaguars uh, Titans game of the regular season in '99, and I was impressed by uh, Eddie George and uh, uh, obviously Steve McNair and the Freak. So stuck with them ever since. Nice man, nice. All right, now we have the president of the German <laughs> Titans. We have the man Tim. What's up, Tim? I'm good. How are you? Good man. Uh... How's yeah. everything? How's the, how's everything over there? Everything's fine. We have close to 100 de degree currently around 9095. I'm three weeks now off from work, as you know, so <laughs> I'm good. There we go. Hey, like I said yeah. before earlier, uh, German beer. So uh, toast to you guys. I don't know if this is good. You said it's probably bad. I mean, that's the only thing they had in stock. I don't, I, I don't like that kind of beer. So, but go ahead. I I drink some American uh, Pepsi Cherry for you. Look, look at that. What? what there we go. Cheers. It's such a disappointment. I only got water. But anyways, cheers. <laughs> yeah, that's um, it's a little rough. Like, like, like <laughs> I, 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 I'm a bad listener. But ask you, Chris, uh, before uh, how he became a Titan fan. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I how didn't really ask. Titan? I just told it. Yeah, he pretty much. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, I, I'm a Titan fan a little bit longer than him, one year exactly. So when I visited family in Nashville back in 98, we drove around town and I got shown the, the, the construction site of Adelphia Coliseum. Okay. Got a Tennessee Oilers hat back then. Nice. That's in the rest is history. Nice, nice, man. That's cool, bro. That's that's awesome. Just, uh, you know, different stories, but again, led to the same team and stuff, which is really cool. Um, what, what made you guys, you know, come up with that, you know, German, you know, tying fan base again, is there that, how many, how many are you guys in a group? So we're, we're not only a group, we're a registered association. Okay. So we are currently sitting at 90 members Okay. all over, all over Germany, Austria, Switzerland. We have a member in the Netherlands and also our honor, honor, what's honorary yeah honorary member in, the, in in the u.s you probably know her karen titanissa mm -hmm. so wow. back then she she sent over a whole lot of stuff over here and she brought some stuff to to england when the titans played there and we were like hey we got honor her. so she's the only uh member in, in our fan club who's living abroad and 
basically we say as long as you're living in germany or speaking german and living outside you're good to go so we have some members who don't speak english uh, don't speak german because they're in the u.s military so we got some military members in the fan club as well okay cool but that's just basically it most most of them are in germany but spread all over so we're going from hamburg to munich from cologne to berlin all over the place we got some some titans fans and uh, members and how, how it started back in 2018 we we all suffered from the poor mm -hmm. days of 2014 2015 mm -hmm. and so back a lot, then of, a lot of german beer drinking that time huh uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> more, more likely so back then there was a facebook group for the for the tennessee titans we had roughly 30 members when i got into it and but we grew and grew and then we started we started to proceed and make it make it our way to the top of the AC south and yeah we started to, hey let's let's meet let's meet up and watch a game together have a little watch party and then we came together and it was the, the fabulous game against kansas city chiefs so when Mariota threw a pa pass to himself, the touchdown pass, and afterwards we were like, okay. Um, back then we switched then from Facebook to WhatsApp over here mm -hmm. and had a group chat and I was like, come on, let's do a fan club just for fun. Mm -hmm. And then we met for the AFC, AFC uh, game, not, not championship game, the game before the divisional round against the New England Patriots. Yeah, and we were, we were a level peeper, people and we signed a statue and that's pretty much it right and from the there game. on from nice. from right right before the game and then we were 11 members the the first 11 and now we grew up to 90. nice man that's awesome now do you guys you go every i'm assuming yeah, every sunday you guys go and and you guys do like a meetup as well or not not anymore how's that work it's like it's like, it's like we pay currently for a gallon of gas we pay around nine dollars for a gallon okay so you guys are saying so it, <laughs> but it but it basically basically it makes no sense driving 200 kilometers just for a game so what we do so me right here i have a, my own cave uh -huh. with, with with a big screen of a diameter of, of three meters and, and all of that so we basically chris he comes over he just he's living crow uh, close so basically for every titans game we're sitting here in my cave doing some some cooking, sometimes we do pizza, we do burger, nice. wings or whatever. But once in a year, we do a uh, we do an annual meeting. We have to do an annual meeting since we're a registered association. Yeah, you have to be like show some activity, right? Correct. Yeah. And then we, then we come in together in Cologne, this year in Cologne. And first of all, do an hour meeting and afterwards having a little watch party. Mm -hmm. And when it comes when it gets to a uh, special occasion, like for example, going to the, to the playoffs, then sometimes we come together as well and watching the games. Definitely, man, that, that's cool. That's, that's awesome. What, what I kind of find amazing is we have this WhatsApp group going as well. Yeah. And there's always a lot, a lot of chatting going on uh, during the off season as well, but mostly, mostly when the games are on. Yeah. And as we usually have the, the noon slot, it's like 7 p.m yeah over here that's kind of that's all you're know, right there you can watch that you can watch that game but still even if we have the uh the later games even if we have the night games which would be like a, a sunday night or a monday night or thursday night game that uh -huh. would be like 2 30 in the morning over here but uh there's still like most of us are get uh, are getting up and watching it live as well so if someone someone falls asleep during the games they usually have like 900 messages in the morning when they get up because <laughs> of what's more that's going strong nice more, nice. more have you guys more. Done, have you guys done that in the past where it's like say it's a, like a late game like a monday night game where you like put your alarm clock you go to sleep and you wake up and no no i can i kind of sleep before so the night games they're great but at the same time they're the worst games yeah at yeah. all because noon 7 p.m prime time for us over here mm -hmm. so i cannot sleep before i cannot sleep before a game and then get up i did Sometime when I had to work the next day, I haven't missed a game since 2016. Very nice. So, so I do not set an alarm before because I'm not able to sleep before. <laughs> but but yeah, but he said 900 messages. That's that's 
to a that they're way more way more you're buff you when you fall asleep or you're sleeping because you have to work the next day and you're getting up you see 1.2k unread messages and all of that so there's some sick dudes in the group we all have a couple of them right there right there's a couple of them that are sick like that in the group uh who who is your favorite i know i think chris already said it like his was was uh eddie george right I, I oh, mean, back then yeah what about now? Is it Derrick Henry? Is that your favorite position? Well, he's awesome. I think we've always had great running backs, obviously. I, I made my brother. He's younger than me. I made him a Titans fan watching CJ2K. So uh, so it, it was kind of running backs kind of got it started. But right now, I think most jerseys I have right now are from the defensive side, actually. And uh, I must say... Well, I can't say that he's my favorite player yet because we haven't seen a lot of him, but the first rookie jersey I ever bought is of Caleb Farley, which I'm wearing right now. So I'm, uh, I hope he's doing, he's going to have a breakout season. But I don't know. I, I guess I have to go with Harold Landry Okay. right now or Jeffrey Simmons. It's kind of close. I mean, again, the defense, I feel like the defense is going to shine a little bit more than this year than last year, even though they're already picking up the pieces. And what they have on offense, I went to training camp not too long ago, and I mean, they look they look good. They look good. I mean, but again, it's only training camp, right? So we, we have to see with that. To what be about, honest, yeah, to be there? honest, I don't have a favorite player. No, that's good. No. I mean, you, you, you maybe don't have maybe 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 the only player who ever shows up and and do do all the best he can, it's Brett Kerr. Who always show? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Brett, Brett's really. But, you understand? I saw Brett live. I saw him in person. I was like, man, he's he's a lot taller than I expected. He's 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 I, he seemed like a chill guy. He seemed pretty cool, just walking around, kicking. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got I got I got a, I got a assigned a game worn jersey of him right here on my wall, and I was wearing it, and I was like, okay, he's a skinny dude, but a long jersey. Yep, I'm telling you, man. No, but. But I don't really have a favorite player, not even back in the past. Like when I, I love the team, but to to see um, to see hungry Jeffrey in the middle, it makes fun to see him and wrecking <laughs> up uh, O lines. Yeah, definitely, man. That's that's something that's gonna be. Again, they need so they need I, a panda man, right? I prefer more defensive oh, plays than, than offensive plays. So I agree. When, with you. It's it's harder to play defense than offense. So when the when the defense show up and Basically, last year when they uh, when they demolished the Rams, it was, was nice. totally defense, and so so the defense is my preferred squad. Let's say it like that. Okay, all right. Same here. I agree. Oh, I think we're going to be a top ten defense, though. This year. They should be. They should got be. A good chance I mean, to they ready, they had, they brought in some of the similar the same players. They, you know, some of them are healthier now. It should, they should get that ball rolling. It should be, it should be almost like they're synced already. Like, you know, obviously preseason and, and the training camp, but we should be, they should be mid form by at least four or five games in already. So hopefully we see that. And, and, and Jim, Jim Schwartz is still here. So, yep, he is. He's still there. Who, what game are you guys uh, most li- um, excited to see this year? Meet the Bengals again, I guess. Yeah, it's like the revenge game, right? Everyone has that marked down, the revenge game. Um, quick question. Has have you guys gone back? Have you guys gone to Nissan Sam since? I know Tim, you said you know, back in, in the day you went, but have you guys have you guys gone back? I know there's a couple, of, I don't forgot what kind of I don't know if, what part of Europe that they travel. They usually get they go through like three or four games. I forgot who it was. I always see it on Twitter and stuff. But they usually do like a like a almost like a big road trip. Our guy. you know Our guys, as your Our guys? guys, okay. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's what it's someone like that. That so for like three or for, four games. That's for, crazy. for example, it was back in 2019. Mm-hmm. They they went into the yes over Chicago. Okay. And stayed stayed two days in Chicago. Then they went to I think Buffalo. No. Where did we start in Cleveland? They went to Cleveland. Then Indianapolis. Then home game. Uh, then home game against Indianapolis, and then um, down to to Jacksonville. So they made a, a whole round trip around nice. 
I saw cool that. Bag. I remember so, that. Uh, it was like a while back, but I was like, "That's that's really cool." And yeah, they were but, like tagging everyone. Like, like for example, Daniel, he just got a he just got a son a couple of weeks ago. Oh yeah. So <laughs> there, one one guy, one hundred guys, he's doing his his master degree now, so he, he don't have the time, and he's yeah, not able to afford it that. So one guy, he just he just just texted last week. One of them, he was like, "Who's coming with me? Who's coming with me?" <laughs> I'm intrigued though, but I haven't been yet at all. I've been to the States a couple of times. Uh, I spent a, spent a high school year in South Dakota and I've been on vacation in California, but okay. I've never been to never been to Tennessee yet. First live Titans game I, I've seen was the London game against the Chargers. Nice. But I'm kind of I'm kind of saving up to uh, for a little round trip uh, next year though. Okay. Uh, Two twenty three. I'm planning to go to uh, uh, to Tennessee. At least it's a plan in my head right now i want to see a titans game a predators game and then drive down to memphis to see uh see a grizzlies game as well all right so there you that's go, the man. plan for next year need to need some need, need to save some money for that though yeah definitely 100 percent. I, I i have to wait another 10 years that's okay Tim. that's 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 when my son is 18 i can kick him out of the house <laughs> and then i'm free to go <laughs> or, or when he starts to 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 have fun watching titans Titans yeah. game, and, then we, and you can bring hey, them. Let's go earlier. Yeah, exactly. correct. But for me, the last time I've been to this one was in 2016 against the Packers. Okay. Is that the one um, where you left them, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like I started with football with Fred Favre and the Packers and then go to the game. Uh, I was invited by the Titans to the practice the day before and I had uh, field tickets nice. for the game. So it was kind of great for me having the first love. And the big, big love of your life playing yeah. in front of you was great. And back then in 2008, eight, 19, 19, 18, I went to, to Oakland on a business trip okay. or the Bay Area. And I went to go to watch the, the, the Raiders against the Seahawks preseason. And I fell asleep in the stadium <laughs> <laughs> in the third quarter. <laughs> so, yeah, I cannot wait to go back to Nashville, but it will take some time because when you have – have a family, have kids. No, under, understand completely. Yeah, I mean, life life happens, man. But um, that'll be cool, man. That'll be cool, uh, especially Chris. Like I said, I, I'll try to get as much people to, to follow you guys, to engage, because that's the that's the, the coolest part I think about Twitter and about having a YouTube channel is engaging not only with people in the United States but around the world. And I think that's really fascinating. I I really want. I would love to go to Germany. I'll go to Germany and hang out with Tim. I'll, I'll bring the beer. But I'll hey, bring the beer, hey, man. you should. Friday, you should. Fr- Friday, we're going to watch some soccer. Come over. Oh, I'm going oh, to the stadium. There, there we go, man. There we go. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's less than fifteen bucks for a ticket. Really? Yeah. Well, because his team ain't good. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh <laughs> man. Oh no. Hey, 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 we're currently in second place. So. Oh, oh. Tim, Tim got real serious right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am real serious when it's about football and about soccer. Oh man, that's that's great. So, how do you say? Um, um, let Let's say something in German, like "What's up?" or uh, "Have a good one." Tighten up. How do you say "tighten up"? You just say "tighten up." Like, is there a word? For, yeah, there's nothing. Why, why? Why? Why do you want to translate it to German? What because doesn't make, doesn't make sense? It does. It makes perfect sense. This no. is part of the podcast, man. It's it's what it's meant to be. I'm drinking German beer. This is the closest I'm gonna get to Germany right now, bro. Like like I'm what, gonna... like like what's up? Is what's good? What's good? What's what's good? What's what's good? It's, it's what's up? What's good? Oh, what's good? It's like so so, you know how 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 the English language uh, evolved. From yeah. German, from German and French, and then it mm-hmm. evolved into English. So you have a lot of words in English, which are so basically. Sometimes you have you have two varieties when you say dog, but you also have hound. Mm-hmm. Okay, you I get what you're hound. saying. I see what you're saying. Hund, hund, or there there's some German words in the English language which you only use the German words like doppelganger. That's German right there, baby. That's all it's German. Full German. Yeah. Zeitgeist. <laughs> there we so, go. A kindergarten. Kindergarten. It's the same thing. Look at that. You learn something new every day. 
There we go, man. Well, what what else do you want to know? What does uh, sound in German? Well, I, I know, and there was a couple of them that were like, you know, hello was like, it was almost hello. the same thing. Yeah, exactly. It was the same thing. All right, let, let's try to do, say something where we're signing off, where it's like the end of the podcast. This is it. What would you say to someone? Don't, now don't say any curse words and I'll just, I'll be saying them in curse. You know, <laughs> so first thing people were like, yeah, just say this. I used to say it in Spanish all the time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, just say that. That's, that's, that's what it means. It's completely so, wrong. Hey, what are what are we do normally doing at the end of our podcast? Yeah, there you go. What do you guys do usually? Normally? I don't know. I, I, normally You're closing I, it out. You have to know. I close, close it, it out. Always, no, always Martin, yeah, tomorrow. all right. Martin is closing it out. <laughs> so basically, what we say is, uh, viel Spaß, uh, viel, vielen Dank fürs Zuhören. Wir freuen uns aufs nächste Mal. Uh, yeah. You're 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 going. Thanks. Th thanks th thanks for listening uh hope you can come back for next time and tighten up it's basically and that's what, what he just said that's what he just said right now yeah thanks for listening is danke fürs zuhören wow <laughs> danke danke that's thanks mm -hmm. for for für, für zuhören 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 Yeah. <laughs> Danke fürs Zuhören. Thanks for listening. But, there, so, there you go. So, let, let, let's say Dune. What, what's that mean? That's a bad word, bro. Dude. No, 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 no. Dune. Say it. Dune. Dune. It's not, a, it's not a bad word. It's just completely It's a kip up. A kip up. <laughs> it's a give up. <laughs> there you go. I, I give up, man. But like I said, Thank you guys coming coming on. I know the time difference is crazy and stuff like that, but I do appreciate Chris. I do appreciate Tim, everything that you guys do. I mean, keep doing what you're doing. I mean, if no one sees any of their stuff, you can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go follow them. If you want to promote your stuff, you can go ahead and do it right now. Say what you got to say and go ahead, bro. It's just not a lot to promote, but uh, yeah, just give us a follow. There so you can you can listen to our German podcast every week if you want to learn some German. That's so uh, yeah, what you have to do, not what you gotta do, what you have to do now. <laughs> basically, yeah. and you what can, should we you can check what out should... the website too, German yeah. EU. It's, it's it's also in the English as well. So if you go on it, you, okay. there's an American flag. So we have a shortened website in English where we can uh, read a little bit about our history and what we're doing. So, for example, what we do every year is to help a person or somebody in help or who needs some kind of help. So, in the first year, we we uh, donated a lot of money to uh, a child hospital. The year after, what we did, we helped Mike Herndon and his adoption. So, for example, in, in Germany, adoption is about 50 to 100 euro. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., it's thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. So we did, we donated around 1k to Mike Herndon and his adoption. Uh, this year we supported Eddie from his yeah, uh, flee from the Ukraine. Now he's living up in northern Germany, Who with that? his own house in his own apartment. And but he ain't a German Titan though. He ain't a German Titan though. He ain't a German Titan. Yeah, ha, ha, has not signed up yet. Not yet. He always <laughs> says, "I will, I will, I will," but have did it. It's it's okay. Never mind. So. Um, so they would basically do doing some 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 games for our for our, uh, members like we call it the prediction game mm -hmm. where we predict W's and L's before the season and in the yeah. end somebody wins a merchandise gift card for Titan stuff for 100 euro the first place and blah blah blah. Nice. And that's what we basically do. But there's nothing to promote. Just give us a follow, give us a like, hit us up, and. Yeah, we couple weeks left from the season, and also uh, Titans game day poster will come yeah. back. Definitely, man. Have you seen Have you seen them yet? Our game day posters. I have not. I have not. Have so, not. Shame not. on you. Yeah, I have a shame, shame on me. You gotta check those out. They're pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. Well, there. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's Tim so is probably Tim is probably good at more things than than that, but he's really good at making ribs and burgers, and he's really great at making game day posters. Gotcha. There we so go. I just I just posted in the chat for you. So they're so they're, they're so good that all of them guys like Delaney liked it in the past. Taylor liked it in the past. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons and all of them. Nice. Definitely, definitely get that. Uh, we'll get that rolling. But again, like I said, thank you guys so much. It was good talking to you guys. 
let's hope for a good year and don't worry this not this probably won't be the last time you hear from me so uh tighten up right tighten up i know thanks for having us no problem